Well, for many students around northern Arizona, today was the first day back at school with new classes, new textbooks, and another full year of homework. Now, I don't know about you, but the first day of school always meant to dress your best and try and make friends for the new year. Yeah, I can completely agree with that. I always wanted to look my best on the first day back at school, and I think what girl doesn't want to dress to impress on that first day? But something that parents might be concerned about is their child's safety. Monet Gunn has more on everything you should know about back to school. Today is the first day of school throughout the Flagstaff Unified School District. Students were preparing by buying new backpacks, clothes, and school supplies. Teachers and administrators have been spending their last few days of summer getting prepared for the school year. A science teacher at Flagstaff Arts and Leadership Academy, Rich Kruger, tells us what he has planned for the upcoming school year. Really spent the summer doing curriculum development, gathering resources, going over things that I am would like to do and then um, kind of coalescing those together into the final uh, curriculum that I'm, I'm, I'm using, uh, new stuff. And then it's also infrastructure. And so if you see here in this room, <laughs> we're doing, we had a projector that was on the desk and I uh, got that hung up so that now that there's no more clutter. Teachers and police alike are preparing for a busy school year. While teachers have been spending their time making lesson plans and rearranging classrooms, police are getting ready to monitor traffic in school zones. Sergeant Margaret Benson has a few precautions for motorists when driving near schools. Be respectful of the other traffic and always be observant of the children that might be walking in the area. Crosswalks, you stop at the crosswalks, allow people to cross. And for the school zones, just remember it's 15 miles an hour and it's not at the crosswalk, it's at the sign. You must be at 15 miles an hour before you even get to the crosswalk. Uh, so just to be aware of those types of traffic rules and concerns. Here are some other tips for back to school transportation safety. When riding a bike to school, always wear a helmet. When riding the bus, make sure your children are standing six feet away from the curb. And when walking to school, be sure to look always before crossing the street. For NAZ Today, I'm Onay Gunn.